Hello Lulas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Guys, if you're not a part of my channel membership and you want to support my channel and help me continue to create lots of content for you guys, um, my channel membership is considered the chatterbox. The link is in the description bar or you can see you see a join now button or if you go to my about me tab you'll see where you can actually become a part of that membership it is four dollars and 99 cents a month you do have to be at least 18 years old to join all payments and all um anything regarding your payments with the membership is handled directly through uh google which is slash youtube um some people sign up through PayPal. I don't know. Some people I think may have signed up outside of PayPal. I have no insight on any of that. Um, I once joined the membership before under my other channel name years ago to see how it works and how it looks, but I haven't did it in years. So I only get the information that, you know, my members share with me and then I pass it along with other people. Um, the other thing is there's always a super thanks button there. And I'm just telling you that these things exist. Doesn't mean you have to do them. I always provide free content as I've been doing so since what, 2013 on this channel. So either way, I appreciate all of you guys for your views, your likes, and your comments. It's very important that you give this video a thumbs up. Give all my videos thumbs up and leave me a comment. So that helps me, you know, travel along in the algorithm. Anyway, today I have Aspen and Bailey. Aspen, as you guys know, I've said it many times before, Aspen is painted by Jody Slater and Bailey is painted by Haley Armstrong. Um, both are my personal babies. They are not for sale. Um, Aspen, which is this little boy, he is a very long sold out uh, kit by um, Romy Stridham and this is half pint, which is Marita Winners. It's an open edition, you know, so it's not uh, anything. It's not like you can't get that one again. Um, so I just wanted to come on. I wanted to share him. At least he got his hair styled. Let's see if it camera zoom in. Um, so when his hair is still damp now, but when it actually dries, it will still look just that same sheen. The curls will stay however I put them and they'll be like in place still like that. Um, so I really like his hair. I just, I know that I came on before and I showed him his hair was kind of wild and bushy and stuff like that. I mean, I was just seeing what I wanted to do. I was gonna do a, a little older style on him, but I decided not to do it. Um, cause I kind of just like him looking pretty baby. Let me see if I can turn it around more so towards the camera. Oh, you got a little dusty on the eyes. Okay. So I'm not going to do that right now, but normally I'll take a little brush, a, a dry unused, uh, paint brush, soft, very soft bristle. And I'll brush any dust or anything out of their eyes in their ears, their nose, their mouth, stuff like that. I know a lot of people have actually been like, oh, I take a, you know, a damp cloth and I wipe my dolls down, my reborns, and I'm like cringing, like, ah, why though, why? <laughs> you know, just dust them off. <laughs> um, silicone, that's different. Uh, vinyl, I don't, I tend not to try to put water on them as much. I'm already freaking out, you know, if a little bit of water dripped down when I'm, you know, spraying, spritzing their hair. Um, occasionally, you know, we, you'll see people hold the babies over the sink and like rinse their hair out, so to speak. And it's all for entertainment purposes, but I don't recommend doing that on a regular basis or at all if you can avoid it. Um, uh, but sometimes their hair do get like, if you're using any type of product on their hair, it will get built up and you do have to do something. So either you're going to take a damp cloth and, and, wash it like that or you're gonna carefully place them over there and just kind of let take the water to rinse their hair out um you just don't want any of that water to seep into their um 
into the vinyl inside their hair and mold and mildew. So there's, you know, things that, you know, consider uh, at the end of the day, as much as I know my babies are real, <laughs> I don't know about y'all babies, but I know my babies are real. Um, they are still really real dolls. And so, and they are a form of art. So um, just from that perspective, we want to be careful with that. Um, also, I wanted to say really quickly, um, let's look over here, Mr. Bailey here, he's, he's looking up at the light. <laughs> Let me see. What you got on you? Some hair for me from Rudy. Let's see. Oh, wait, wait. I'm going to put him over a little bit more. Try it to anyway. Um, let's see. We'll zoom over here. This is Bailey. <laughs> so, um, you know, when I'm shopping for a doll and I look at, you know, photos and I, especially if it's a sculpt that I really like. And a lot of times nowadays, I don't know what it is. I don't know. Did I miss a memo or something like that? But a lot of times when people put dolls up for sale now, they do not list who the artist is. That can make or break a, a, a sale because um, this is not to, to shade anyone or, you know, speak badly of anyone. But some of you guys' pictures are so grainy and gritty and just unclear and it doesn't really reflect the true uh, essence of the doll that, you know, I need to know who the artist is so I can go back and reference their photos. Also kind of you know what i've heard in the streets you know what i mean like what i've heard out in the community like as talk like oh does people really genuinely like this artist's work once they get it or is it just all hype off of name um and then also have i heard that their pictures are doctored up or photoshopped or edited or you know are are their pictures pretty close to the actual thing photos are never going to be exactly the same i don't care who tell you tell you anything different it, they're either, the baby's going to either be better or not as good or close to but not exact. The color is going to be almost exact or almost spot on but not quite. You just, the, the the naked eye versus cameras and depending on your setting on your phone, your your uh, computer or whatever you're looking from, tablet, is going to reflect that baby differently. However, overall, you know, we we draw our conclusion of is this something that we think we would like in our collection? Um, so without the artist's name, that gives me not enough information. And then you put in the comments, you're asking like what artist it is and they don't want to tell you. So um, that's why a lot of people, dolls don't sell as fast as they probably would. Um, but, and I, I get it like, you know, oh, this doll can sell on its own merit, but not if your camera quality isn't that great. Um, and so, you know, when I collect dolls from other artists, I try my hardest to represent their work as honest as what it is. And I try to, um, I try to take the effort into like combing their hair, brushing their hair, um, making them look like, you know, like they, they, they look when, you know, when the artists represented them, when they showed them and stuff, um, just because, and this was even before I was painting myself, um, it's just because if I really admire artists work and I'm proud of their work, I want to show it in the best light. Now I'm not going to run out and go buy you no know, top of the line camera and all this and stuff just to show off somebody else's work because I'm not getting paid for it, right? But at the end of the day, is it my business as from an artist's perspective, it's not my place to go and tell no collector, oh, you need to take better pictures. Oh, you need to do this, that, and other. No, absolutely not. If they are enjoying their baby, I am completely happy. If I see a photo and I'm like, okay, that's 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 that that picture look awful. You know what I mean? If I have those thoughts in my head. That's one thing, but I'm not going to verbalize it um, because at the end of the day, when people collect, they collect for themselves. Most people, not for show. And they're excited. They're enjoying their babies. They're loving their babies. They know what they got in person. So at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. 
but I'm just saying that's just the way I do it though you know I'm gonna try to comb the baby hair style the baby hair and stuff like that now baby let me tell y'all I ain't never been the one that was good at doing hair I had four girls one boy um and hair was never my thing I always paid for my girls to get their hair braided up or um someone to do it the best I could do is some twists two strand twists I would do three four ponytails that was my go-to in between I've never been that great at doing hair another thing is I'm not a, a a name brand junkie I'm not up on the the latest fashions and stuff like I dress my babies comfortable I like for them to look baby I like for them to smell good and that's how I do with my doll so um you know that's another thing and I know that you know people that follow me might say oh I love the way you dress your babies or I love the way you take your photos but I know that's not enough for me as in this industry to be considered like you know big money artists you know when when you think of big money artists you see them in all types of name brand and you know knitwear and fancy you know bedding and accessories and beautiful photography like as if you just walk into someone's studio um and I love seeing it I absolutely love seeing it oh my gosh I marvel at the thought of one day being able to possess those skills to do photography in that way with some of my babies but I'm just not there yet and that's okay um anyway um, I, again, I just wanted to come on and show him with his hair done because I was like, ah, I felt kind of like, I was like, eh, you know, I know I showed him this way. I know I took him some photos cause I like the wild hair look. Um, but I wanted to also show him that his hair is of good quality. Um, and the, you know, the artist did a good job on the hair and he's, he's, he's a great baby. Um, and y'all know my little peanut he he's a great baby too he don't have that much hair his hair is very finely rooted but it's very very realistic and his scalp is very detailed and I, that's what I, I love when babies are sparsely rooted and their scalp is so detailed and it just looked like a real real baby um and the as far as the flaky skin it doesn't come off it, you know I know for some people that's a aggravation and they're like a couple of my friends like oh I just want to pick it up um it, it it does totally add to the realism um as I've seen a lot of babies that peel crazy crazy when they're little like this my babies my babies that I actually gave birth to did not peel a lot I didn't have you know my babies that their skin wasn't peely um but I, I do like the look on certain babies now up to a certain age or size certain babies I just don't feel like it's you know it works for them but I do like this on um, on him but anyway that is it guys let me know in the comment section um, what babies that you would want to see a video of I am trying to show some of my other babies I gotta get Bridget dressed and show Bridget so I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna do a video of Bridget later. Um, I got a lot. I'm, I'm really, really getting closer with you know presenting another baby for you guys um, in silicone. But I got a lot. I gotta get these other babies out, and then I'm gonna update you on which babies has already been sold and is have left or are leaving. I'll be getting to that later. Um, I've been doing a lot of behind the scenes behind y'all back <laughs> I've been doing stuff behind y'all back <laughs> so um, I'm excited um, I am still excited about 2023 you know I've been you know falling a little behind but I've, I've, I'm hopeful that you know it's gonna take off and I'm gonna have a good year this year and you are too so see you guys later in the next video bye bye now